Oh, here's a pastor that was uh, slammed for telling wives to lose weight and look less butch. These are old school guys, too, like these pastors, but they're all guilty of some shenanigans. Uh, but he was giving a, a little sermon on uh, telling women they should look good for their husbands or their husbands might go off and try to have sex somewhere else. Yeah. I, it's kind of true, right? Sure. It is. Let's uh, let's see what this story is about. And, and ladies here, here's the thing you need to Stanley know about Cup. men. <laughs> Don't give him a reason to be like this distracted boyfriend. Uh oh. Oh boy. You hear me? Oh yeah, that guy. Don't that's give him me, a reason to be uh, looking Dave around. Landau Hello. And Crowder. So okay. Why is it so many times that women, after they get married, let themselves go? Wow. Oh. What book Wait. is he reading from? <laughs> Why they do? Can't be the Bible. The game Hello, by I'm Neil Strauss. I'm not saying Strauss. every woman can be the epic, the epic trophy wife of all time. What does he think that like is? Like Melania Trump. I'm not Melania. saying that at all. Lasagna Trump. Now, most women can't be trophy wives, but you you know, like her, maybe you're maybe a participation trophy. I don't know, no. but all I can say is not everybody looks like that. Amen. Amen. But it never looks like that. But but you don't need to look like a butch either. A butch. But you say, how can I do that? Oh, I'm so glad you asked that question. I'm so glad you asked that question because no you're in my office, like you and your husband, and we're talking about your marriage, and uh, you've asked me this question about what can I do about that? All right, if you were sitting in my office, here's the first thing I'd say to you, and boy, I hate to say that, this is why I don't do marital counseling anymore, oh, and that is... Weight control. Oh. Dude, he's fat. So how important is this? Let me tell you something. He doesn't know. I have a friend. He no, has he put don't. a divorce weight on it's his like wife. That's how Brian important Regan. this is. Is this Brian Regan's no, new up. special? Make up is, is a good <laughs> thing. You know, I'm, I'm an eight again. I'm an eight again. It's, an eight again. They, it's like a wife with you food in her. <laughs> you put the food in your stomach. Why? I'm fat, religious Brian Regan. <laughs> I had COVID, but now I'm back on tour and I've seen God. Can we get an amen? <laughs> it's cup of amen. <laughs> <laughs> the big yellow one is God. <laughs> it looked like fat Brian Regan. <laughs> I think I just broke my femur praying. <laughs> Body of Christ? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll have some body of Christ. Okay. Mm. Oh, there's change in the dish. This there's is change good in it. Body. <laughs> this is the best body I've had, body of Christ. It's a wafer with Jesus in it. <laughs> Jesus wafer. To the wine. To the wine. Yeah. Oh, some wine. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, a little sip of wine. We're getting drunk here at church. It's a it's a chalice with wine in it. I call it chalice of wine. Oh, it's the blood of Christ. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, what have I done? Oh, God. Eat my body, drink my blood. What am I, a zombie? <laughs> oh fuck. Taking communion. <laughs> my communion. <laughs> Next week I'll be at the Tempe Improv. <laughs> it's oh. a confession booth with me in it. <laughs> the booth. I'm going to talk about the things I did wrong that God didn't see. Hey, don't touch me. Don't fuck me like I'm a kid. <laughs> Father, I've sinned. I'm a guy with sins in me. I'm a guy of sins. <laughs> uh, <like. laughs> He's Brian Regan. I still haven't seen his special yet. My wife put on too much weight. She's a she's a tub. A tub of goo, I tell you. And I don't know what to do. Cause she's always oh, big. She's big. I brought a scale home. I put the scale down. She looked out, shrieked, and ran outside to eat more ho ho's. Motivation. They're chocolate with cream in them. They put the cream inside the chocolate because there's not already enough sugar. Easter's coming. That's when Jesus was resurrected. It's also when your wife will eat those bunnies. Chocolate bunnies. 
bunnies with chocolate in them. All the chocolate bunnies. Your wife's a fat whore. He <laughs> <laughs> gets edgier the more oh, yeah. Catholic he that gets. Guy, that guy was edgier than Regan. Jesus. Oh, my God. Regan's a funny guy. This guy's fucking. Uh, Why are the priests pair? putting the dicks in the kids? <laughs> I get it. It's pink. It's fresh. I understand. It's a kid with a dick in it. Call a kid a dick. <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. So this guy had to resign or something? Oh, fuck. He's, he's taking a, a oh, leave of funny. absence, is what I, I hear. Oh, my a leave God. Leave of absence. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Brian Regan preacher. Oh, oh, the sign of the cross. Okay, okay. He's got an hour of just Christ material now. Oh, holy water! <laughs> holy water, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Oh fuck! Uh, <laughs> oh, I needed that. Thank you. I love it. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. So I read in the story anyway that he, he has to uh, take a little leave of absence. I don't know how anyone in this day and age thinks they could talk like this. I love it. I w I want everyone speaking their mind, whether you like it or not. But you have to know there's going to be a problem, even is there. Is there a certain point where you be, you have to be like, all right, I need a little bit of tact when I deal with this? <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. I get the, I get, I love free speech, but I, I also think if I see That's someone and I'm like, and I'm like, oh, you're a fat pig. I'm not just gonna blurt that out to them. Like, no, there's a no. Certain amount of you can mouth it now under your mask. Oh, I do that amongst other words. Yeah. <laughs> like one other word. <laughs>